Don't get your feelings hurt. Read this. You ready? Yep. Ready. Let's do it. Hey. 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Short Film. <laughs> Welcome to Short Film Roundup. Short Film Roundup. We're, three, uh, we're getting good at it now. Three cursed filmmakers review short films against their will. Yes. Uh, well, uh, user submitted. The user place submitted. where we get to watch and review user submitted short films for all eternity, including yeah. yours. Yeah. In fact, if you're a filmmaker, what do they do? Uh, there's a link in the description. You can go down to our link. It's a Google form link. You can fill out the form there. Send us your short film, and we'll put it on our uh, schedule where we'll review it. It'll yes, be a good and time. You get the experience of having us do to you, well, your film. What uh, we're doing to all these other films, yeah, and really, and believe it or not, people and they they enjoy it. They actually, seem, seem to enjoy it. There's yeah. nothing really uh, better to do with our time here in the eternal void, so uh, we figured might as well do what we're asked. Yes, by payment and review these films uh, that you send us. Our overlord, uh, payment, payment the demon, our demon. Overlord. Overlord um, was so, a bad movie. So we all are here waiting on a letter from Payment. Payment. Um, and look at there that. There it is. Wow, that's so convenient. convenient. I think it, its timing can never Speak be better. Speak of the demon. Speak of the <laughs> demon. Yep. <laughs> here we go. This is Total Performance by Scene Meehan. I Very mature. I couldn't help. I couldn't help it. Scene Meehan. Scene um, Meehan. I'm guessing Sean Meehan. That's a fair guess. Sean. Sean. Um, he, he only went through his whole life being called scene. Right. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, scene. <laughs> Submitted by so Tim rude. J. Cox. Hey. Hey. That sounds familiar. A friend of the program, Tim J. Cox. What, are we halfway through the Tim J. Cox submissions now? We are. Just about, yeah. You know what, Tim? You're a good actor. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tim. You're pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> um, You're pretty okay. good in this one, too. It is time to watch this film. So you, dear viewer, can link, uh, click. There we go. Click on the link in click the description. The watch the movie. <laughs> and watch the movie. And then come back and then leave us a comment telling us what you thought. And See then you in a us. bit. We're back. Well, welcome back. What, what was did you that? drop? <laughs> oh, I laid an egg. Well, <laughs> egg sounded like that. <laughs> Weird things happen to you when you live into the void too long. I guess so. Live into the void. <laughs> <laughs> Bear me out. Should Bear me we, out. Uh, should we talk about this movie? Let's yeah. talk about this movie. Yeah. Uh, Taylor, why don't you get us started? Boom. Okay. Uh, this movie is um, called Total Performance. And it's, wow. And it has this guy in it. Yeah, that guy's in it. <laughs> He's all right. Yep. Um, this movie is obviously has pretty high production value. You know, the, sh the shots all look nice. Um, so just to get right into it, the writing is kind of weird. Um, I like the idea of this business where they're basically sending out people to be, to live out arguments and to experience arguments for people to like, uh, have some sort of practice or catharsis through arguing with something is that that's stretched? I'm not sorry. their, no, it's not, stretched. it's not stretched. It no. looks stretched on here. Okay. That's not their, uh, real spouse or business partner or anything like that. But just as a way to either yeah practice or have catharsis, that's a cool idea. Um, where this movie kind of starts to get kind of weak to me is this, I guess the drama of it. The romance that this girl has with this guy is... Not this guy. Not this guy, the, the other dude. Um, the, this guy. Yeah, is not the most compelling. And when it's revealed later on that he was kind of shady and had a girlfriend already it's not that like it's it's not that big a deal to me when i watched it, i was like not I, that it, not that like it doesn't matter that no that i'd happens. say that's the writer's fault yeah right? it's it's they, just they didn't bring you in yeah it, it's not that like obviously that's a bad thing to do to somebody but like i don't know i just didn't find myself caring that much and how the, the characters react to that whole situation just did not match my enthusiasm for the drama you right know? right you gonna say the most interesting part of this movie, which was this fictional business they had created where they go and have arguments with people, yeah, had almost nothing to do with the most important part of the story. 
And the most important part of the story was the least interesting part of the movie. Meaning this relationship between him and her and how he lies and has to break up with someone is what the story's ultimately about. Yeah. Um, the name of the movie and the first scene and the most interesting scenes in the movie uh, are all about this fictional business, which ultimately very loosely tied into driving the story forward. Only the fact that she found out that he was lying to her through his biz through her business is, is the only way it's tied into the story at all. And so we have um, not enough emphasis on certain parts and too much on others. Yeah. And an overall lack of character development, which made this kind of flat. The the writing in here felt uh, very very movie. Uh, the dialogue didn't feel natural at all. Yeah. It felt like people were just saying lines at each other. Mm -hmm. Especially during this date Especially scene. Especially during this, yeah. yeah. And even more, probably the worst scene for that stuff is right after the date scene when they're walking on the street, they're walking home. Yeah. Uh, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to be out of the context of their conversation. Because they're talking at the same time and everything. Yeah, yeah but there's like a mix of like bad ADR this and weird lines. me actually. It yeah. actually made yeah. me feel really disoriented. Me too, yeah. Because uh, the, their conversation is so loud, you hear what they're saying. It, it, yeah. You hear they're saying nonsense. Yeah, right. it felt yeah. like it was supposed to be a mumble thing in yeah. the background. Yeah. But you could hear all their words. But you could hear everything, yeah, perfectly yeah. clear, yeah. And and it wasn't a coherent conversation, like a conversation that made a lot of sense. Right. It's like, yeah. it's like when yeah. you have the actor in the background mouth watermelon over and over again, right. except you can hear them say watermelon. <laughs> say watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> like when Hayden yeah. Christensen uses uh, lightsaber sounds when he's fighting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happened. Did it happen? Yeah, George Lucas had to call quit. He's like, cut, what? What is that sound? <laughs> there was Hayden Christensen and was going, this is, I just. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Uh, um, I thought there were some, some good performances in this film. Yeah. There was some uh, very good cinematography. Yeah. Uh, she, she is a very strong actress, and she carried most of these scenes uh, on her own, I felt. Um, of course, uh, returning Tim Cox is g great as always. Mm. Good performance. Um, and I actually found this fictional business they made, Total Performance, I guess it's called, yeah. to actually be quite believable. Yeah, me too. Like, I, I bought in that this could totally exist and be a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I didn't believe uh, her relationship with the boy, with the guy <laughs> at no. all. No, well, I didn't either. And the, the biggest leap of the movie is believing that her date would then call the same service that she works at. Yeah, that now. was super weird. Yeah, like that's so coincidental. I mean, unless you had some like, psychological issue where you wanted to be caught. So, right. so re-explain what we're talking about here. So he, he calls her company yeah. to set up a, someone he can have a fight with because he knows he has to break up with his girlfriend because he likes her. So, but he lied to her, didn't tell her that she had this girlfriend. So it seems a stretch that he wouldn't think it a little risky that he would be caught if he called her business. Right. You know, right. Unless there's like a bunch of businesses that do the same thing and he happened to call the same <laughs> right. one, but, it but seems, they didn't establish seems like that at all. Pretty unique. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely not yeah. the case. And the, like, the, all they talk about on the date in the, at the dinner table is her business. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. Um, and wine. Yeah. The, the, the whole writing felt like it was trying to explain the situation just over and over and over. And that I, I, I keep feeling like we want to talk about how uh, character development isn't there because the story in a lot of movies, the story is never about the characters. It feels like the story is about something and the characters are there to deliver it. Hmm. And I think that's what this film's problem is, is we, we don't have a personal relationship with any of these characters. Yeah, and some interesting conclusions come when you don't have developed characters. For example, this, this very reluctant and sort of, well, dishonest uh, boyfriend. Yeah. Without having enough development for us to have some empathy for his situation, he just comes across as totally unlikable. Right, right? that's true. You just don't yeah. like him. Yeah. And then when you have a very charismatic, uh, charming, witty girl, the, you get uh, you run into problems too if you haven't developed a character giving us enough to really get invested in her, have empathy with her, 
all of that comes off as she's faking something, hiding mm. something, yeah. pretending to be something she isn't. Right. Yeah. And that that kind of screwed me up a bit because I thought the date here in the beginning was a continuation of her acting or that it would... You couldn't tell. Yeah. yeah. Or that the twist that would happen later on was that she was acting during certain parts or something. But yeah, it... And, and See, but you wanted, you assumed and wanted the overarching concept to right. be a part of the conclusion. Yeah. But it it almost wasn't at all, just barely tied in. Right. Because um, the, the scene where she walks through the door to realize her client for the day is the date she, date she had. And she's like, I don't know, she's just smiling the whole time. But no, I think she you, already knew. You oh, can tell me she, where, where she, to go, you know. She, go, go to the, yeah, this scene. This scene. Yeah, go back a little bit. Yeah, she's not deeply yeah. hurt. Yeah. But they've only had one date and one kiss, you know. So she's sure. showing up and she's just like, you're unbelievable, you know. Yeah. Just coming to, like, confront him. But by the end of this scene, it's as if she's completely in love. Yeah, that's the thing. It's just like. <laughs> like in this part? Or no, part? no, no. At the end of her dialogue back here. Before the girlfriend comes in. Right here. Like she cares about him. Maybe even before this. I don't know. It, that didn't, didn't really feel that way to me. Well, she breaks her rules for him. Yeah. I, yeah. We had just established that they don't give advice, right? And then the first thing she does is start to give him advice. Go back some. She looks like she's like snooping, like, like she's like she's like she wants to know the the secrets. She wants to know the secrets. Yeah, you know, like, like when there's a mystery and you really want to know. It. She doesn't look like she cares that. That she, it looks like she cares more about the the mystery behind it. Her face. That's what her facial expressions are telling me. Oh, I see. Rather than what the dialogue is saying is she's being outraged that she he was she was lied to dissonance there yeah her facial expressions were not matching what i was the dialogue was saying there was know? a a lot of that that i felt that was in here was a dissonance between the way they were acting and what they were saying mm -hmm. um some misplaced drama yeah and i think that had to do with the directing um there was one part in here when all of us looked at each other like what and it was oh, when yeah they stopped here and she said something here where she's like you can't come inside but oh. the way she said it she she like restarted her line it's yeah it sounded as if it was a bad take yeah, yeah that's what i had to, i think we all caught that at the same yeah, time yeah but it, it wasn't it a bad like take a, a, a bad take that they just stuck with for some reason but but because she did the exact same thing she said it again but it was just her interpretation of someone being awkward Right. Yeah, she's but like it did come across stumbling. as a bad take. Yeah, and so I, I'm just wondering, you know, if the person who's directing this saw that and said that's exactly what I wanted, or just decided to just go with it. Um, yeah, when all of us watched it, we we're like, what happened there? Like that was just a bad take, <laughs> but I guess not. So a good general rule, we've repeated it here before. It's a it's a great rule, but it's hard to follow. Is that everything in your movie, every action or line of dialogue should somehow move your story forward or develop your character more. And there were a few things in here that just didn't seem to bind with the, with the story. Yeah. For example, the whole concept of the we'll argue with you company while being very interesting ultimately didn't do a lot in, in moving the story forward. But also this angle of her having to, to her going to this audition that she's excited for and then she gets the results of her audition and she's disappointed. I s assume that's for character development, but I don't know what really told us anything about her. That was weird to me. I felt like it was another story that was happening but never completed. It didn't tie in. Yeah. Um, I also found her reaction to not getting the part to be pretty funny. almost silly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For, I mean, I'm like any working actress gets 10 of those a week. Right. You know, right. <laughs> or actor. Uh, yeah, it, it seemed like when at the at the end here, at least to me, when she was hiding and she got her email, um, it seemed like we were building up something like this. Yeah. This is now a payoff for something, but it's but it's uh, it's, it's not, not a payoff. It's it's just another and, piece and of it, information. Again, it's more dissonance. It's like emotional dissonance. Is she 
so she's upset because she didn't get a part. He's upset because he has pissed her off and has to break up with his girlfriend. His girlfriend's upset because she's being dumped, I guess. Yeah. I guess so, Which yeah. none of those are the same thing. So it's right. like... And the, the they're drama, all mad for different reasons. Yeah. Got yeah. Some yeah. Bunch of and plus the drama being shown here is like way heavier than the situation really calls for. Now, what would you say is, is making that happen? The cinematography here and the performances. And the music. And the yeah. music. I would say the music is yeah, a big thing Yeah, this all felt here. very dramatic yeah like like something huge was happening now not something huge is about to happen yeah yeah the way he's gonna kill his his girlfriend <laughs> with the door closing that did look a little <laughs> menacing a little menacing and we hold on this shot for a long time and then she walks in frame like yeah. she's like oh my god <laughs> oh my god what have i done <laughs> just yeah. walk on just yeah. keep walking so when this movie ended right here i was I, I immediately turned to these guys and i'm like uh just to make sure there's there's nothing like big happened here, right? And you guys are like, no, no, yeah. <laughs> it it felt like there was n really nothing conclusive here. There's not yeah. a there's not an ending, and it's it's a it's frustrating, and I, it's another thing I'm going to suggest is very common. It's very hard to avoid in short films, especially because we see it all the time on the yeah. show. Here is telling a short film where a character actually goes somewhere actually has an arc right goes from point a to point b overcoming or succumbing to challenges along the way yeah right that is a story arc uh, where you've ended up you've gone somewhere in your in your in your or maybe the story is that you tried to do something and ended up right back where you started That's right. still an arc it's still an arc yeah. this just had nothing like i don't feel like we went anywhere i don't feel like it either yeah i yeah. felt like she's She's in the same place that she started, but she didn't actually go anywhere. Right, and if you don't have some kind of some something conclusive, yeah, then it feels more like a short is a piece of a larger project. It did, yeah. Than a finished film. Yeah, at the, during the date scene here, it, it came to my mind that I'm like, this this feels like it's a segment of a show that I should have already known several episodes in what's happening. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're you know? missing the context. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the the whole thing you said about about um, about her not going anywhere at th at this point with her getting the email and being upset and everything, I think it's because I, I was waiting for something to to make all of that what we just watched matter. Right. You know. Right. So it's like okay, she didn't go anywhere because this happened. So let's assume but, she's the main character. Yeah. Um, which I think it. I think she is. Yeah. It's a, it's a close kind of hard to say actually it is hard to say yeah. um but if she's the main character we start with her she has this very interesting job she's she's dating a guy who she seems moderately interested in and she doesn't have an acting part in the end the only thing that's changed is that she i, I assume is no longer dating that guy that she's moderately interested in right so it's a it's about so, her relationship so with then, him therefore her story is i dated a guy and then we stopped because right. he lied to me. Right. <laughs> and I didn't get a part. And and they just started dating, right? Yeah, but that status didn't change. Yeah. Right? Like she didn't have a part and she didn't get the part. The only so thing that's that not changed, the story. The only thing that changed <laughs> was the the potential of maybe getting a, a goal. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah, that's a lot of Even that. she was a, a good performance. I, I enjoyed they, her yeah. too. Yeah. Like I think they all brought pretty top good performances. From, top to bottom, this was well acted. Well uh, lit, well shot. I don't think the receptionist was very mostly well. <laughs> good. Uh, good sound, except oh. for that scene out on the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, d I thought it was actually fairly good sound. Yeah, um, and the, the lighting is really, really good. This yeah. set, this moment right here felt very true, very real. Yeah, uh, because I've I've seen that moment so many times where one actress or actor comes out from audition and they have this brief moment of being in front of the person who's going next. Competition. And they, and they both do this, like... Sized each other yeah. up. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then give each other a fake smile. Yeah. You know what? I loved how they did it there, too, because they didn't draw a lot of attention to that. It was yeah. just one glance no, and then natural. she was on to her face. And it's like nice half of you wants to say good luck, but inside you don't wish them good luck. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They captured all of that in one second. That was yeah. great. That was beautiful. Yeah. yeah, and this this whole place, like you said, does feel like... A business, you know. This, Although uh, total I, I gotta say, area. and I don't know if this is part of the story or not, but it felt like it felt like she was not delivering for this client. 
the Tim Cox. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She felt was like, uh, distracted. Yeah. You know, like he didn't feel like he got what he needed. And yeah. then she's like going right to her phone to text and stuff. So, so were f- they trying to say something? Well, so this is what's weird about it. I think this was a, a deliberate directing decision. And I, I don't think they were trying to say something with it. I think what happened was this girl, this actress, um, this one, <laughs> good shot. Um, she, uh, I feel like she came in to this film to play this character only, right? And in this film, Total Performance, she's supposed to be playing lots of different people, lots of different kinds of performances. Like the Mm. character has range. Yeah, so the character in the story has this giant range. I'm sure she, the actress, didn't actually have that range. And so they just didn't film all those times that she was supposed to give other performances, like this one with her client, or like this one where she's auditioning for that role. You mean the fact that we don't see the audition, we don't see her with this client. We don't ever see her kind do of glance over the other uh, uh, client. Yeah, she's in the same kind of range of the whole film. Yeah, except yeah, even in the end, kind of. Yeah, like she's always like well, one, one y- note, I guess. Well, I mean, it's uh, what I'm saying is that she only plays one character, and when in the story she's supposed to be playing lots of different types right because she's auditioning which is another type of person like you remember in la la land how our main character goes to an audition and she gives a performance yeah and then clearly she's acting and then she stops and goes back to her character that actually is an important thing now that i think about it because if they had shown her audition and it had been this like extremely moving thing where she put her soul into it. Yeah. And then we see that message at the end. Then we go, ah. Oh. Yeah. See now, now I feel like that's that's a directing decision because the actress herself just wasn't good enough to pull off something like could that. Could be. It also could be just that they were trying to make it a shorter movie. Maybe. Maybe. But, I, yeah. I get what I you're know. saying now about yeah. the character because her job requires her to to act, act. right yeah. but maybe but the actress couldn't yeah saying. we don't particularly see that when she's doing her we job don't. and they, they cut away from it yeah you know when she's yeah. at her job we don't see her yeah but uh, that could that, that could have been a writing thing that the script could have been written that way entirely yeah i don't know why it would be though like like why not see her time yeah. restraints or uh, short-sightedness. <laughs> uh, this part was weird too, where we're sticking on the. It was hard to understand, and, it, and this felt way more significant than it ended up being. Yeah, that like conversation. This, that it extreme like close-up setting up a murder. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Was that so? Was that her boyfriend calling in to hire? That's what I assumed they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, this this felt really important because we have this really close shot. Uh, but she it, seems surprised by whatever he's talking about. Yeah, like who's calling and she's like, why would she care? <laughs> that you're the guy who went on that date with my coworker that one time. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. I love the facility this company is housed in. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to rent this place as our uh, next uh, office if we ever get out of the void. You, you know what's <laughs> what's nice about this too is like you remember. I don't know if you guys remember the alien race uh, thing yes, that we watched. I remember. <laughs> oh, so yeah. like these girls came in who were actually aliens came into like a, a place that's supposed to be a bar. Yeah. But the place did they not look like a bar. They clearly had just done it in yeah. the break room of yeah. someone's office. Yeah. And, yeah. and like if it was actually a bar, it was like some super new age bar that's supposed yeah. to not look like one. This feels like a kind of new age office where they're like – trying to be really really yeah. uh interesting you know? yeah i think it fits this which, business yeah exactly does, which right. is like a bu- it would reflect how that business is yeah you know? and so i think that's that's really well done on the production yeah just on a side note do you think that an actual business could be built around this service I, i've seen this actually in several movies now several movies and shows and every time i see it i'm just like i i think people have like can know what genuity is <laughs> to use that word again <laughs> people know when someone else is being genuine oh so so i don't so think, know yeah so i don't think that could work you don't think it would work because it would yeah. be an acting thing because it's acting right yeah. it's a yeah. funny idea though 
I mean, people pay for like you know escorts. Yeah. You know. To yeah, go but on it could help for stuff, maybe but... like a like a role play thing to sort of brainstorm, come up with ideas. I yeah. mean, even if you're completely <laughs> aware that it's fake, you could. Um, well, it seems like these like are for work. emotional releases. Like, yeah. I got the idea that they were like workshopping yeah. to, to they, get ready. They implied that at some oh, point. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Like they, these are people who have to face something. Yeah. I mean, in that in that respect, yeah, maybe. But couldn't like a like I was going to say, couldn't a lawyer do that too? A lawyer? What are you doing with your glove? <laughs> I'm just uh, messing with it. <laughs> lawyers uh, do do that, actually. I meant to say therapist. Ah. Uh. I was going to say, because lawyers do, like, <laughs> workshop their, with their witnesses and stuff yeah. where they'll have these debates. And they bring in actors to help with that, too, actually. I would sign up for a service like this if I could stream it. Stream it? Yeah, like an <laughs> online streaming service. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you'd be an Instagram yeah. hit. Like VR. People would love it. Yeah. You know what I'd do is I'd, I'd go to the service and I'd, like, film them and then, like, try to tell a story around it. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. I would go to this service and uh, be a complete pacifist, just not combative. <laughs> you, know? you came here for an argument, <laughs> and I just sit here and be like, so "Tell me how you feel about this. <laughs> That's interesting. I value that." <laughs> yeah, I think I'll be okay. Everything's good. <laughs> if you feel that way, so be it. So be it. Uh, right. Other than being a vehicle for the extremely talented Tim Cox, <laughs> uh, what else do we have to say for this film? I thought the color correction was really, really good. Yes, it I is. Liked, I, yeah, the look of the movie. I don't good. think the editing was that great. I didn't notice it. I, that's that's the thing. best editing. I, no, I uh, did notice it. <laughs> okay, there was one. If we're getting into the the Nicky Nick 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 Knack picking nits Nick, picking Nick Knack picking pick the nits. <laughs> we haven't been nitpicking yet. No, these are all yeah, the broad that's... strokes. <laughs> uh, now we're going to start nitpicking. <laughs> now they're like, oh, jeez. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so you see the shape of the legs of these chairs. <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, in the uh, date scene at the beginning, when nope. they're at dinner, they do this shot where she's talking. They're shooting from behind, shooting over his shoulder. And they slide from one side to the other. Oh yeah, for no mm. good reason at all. I think it's to up the drama. Yeah, it didn't though. It just made me go, "Why did we change our perspective?" Mm -hmm. okay. it, to me, that's an extremely distracting uh, choice. I thought and, it was going to be a scene transition. No, that's what it felt like. It felt like, oh, this is going to be a wipe to something. Uh, to me, or it, reveal some, or she's going to be a different girl when they come to the <laughs> other side. Like it was super distracting. To me, it looked like it was uh, a cinematography technique so that we can now change the sides that we're on. They wanted to hop. The well, line. you'd say that because we've done that when yeah. when we have some kind of necessity to hop the line. You need to find a way to do it. That's what I think they did. Yeah. But why would they need to here? Well, we don't know because we're on the outside of the movie. But, but I feel like there that was a necessary thing for them to do. If right that's on. the case, then you got to do what you got to do. But it doesn't change the fact that it took me out of the movie to go like. Oh no! Well, it where it are we definitely going? did. Yeah, it definitely did. But yeah, I'm 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 thinking that something necessitated the fact that they had to move lines. Maybe they had to shoot another day or something. Maybe use a different table. Yeah, I don't know. Things happen. Things happen. Things happen. The lighting in this entire movie is spot on awesome, but, but. It's always a but. And the cinematography was spot on awesome, but. Oof. Always a but. I don't know if they're necessarily good fit for this film. If they're necessarily a good fit. Because as we said, like in the later part right here, this feels super dramatic, right? Just look at this film. Just look at this that <laughs> shot. still, yeah. right? You give this to somebody, you Heavy say what's happening here. Something, there's an immense regret. Yeah, something's happening pretty and bad. Something, here. she's ignoring something deep and heavy going on right behind that door. And that's what the lighting like tells us. Like her lover us. is having sex <laughs> with someone else. The lighting tells us that, the framing. Or she's ignoring a murder. <laughs> um, so where both of those things look very good, not sure if they actually tell a story. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what, again, most of it is for the whole movie, is that I think the cinematography, lighting, music, they're all telling a story that's not being portrayed through the writing. Questions? 
how uh, someone else start with question how yeah. many people was this crew this feels like uh this feels like a pretty big production and i want to know uh how you handled the whole thing if you were if you even produced it i mean i, I didn't see that you were it was produced by you sean me and um and for what purpose were you making the film was this a, a school project was it a rig just a just a passion project uh you know what made you want to come up with this where did the idea of this come from the the idea of um this business of paying somebody to have an argument with you uh is there did you come up with like a, a grander scheme of the business how detailed do you know the business from a storytelling perspective because like in, in the same way that you might know all the fine details of a character i want to know if you if you like fleshed out how the business model works and all that it's interesting to me have you seen the argument sketch from Monty Python? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> Which is literally this service. No, you came here for an argument. No, I didn't. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> uh, let's see. What was my other question? Um, I get the idea. I, I feel like there is more idea here than there is in this movie. Like you had a bigger. A bigger story and a bigger concept here. Yeah, definitely. And that it didn't all make it into this short, um, because it feels like a very big idea and concept, and um, the story is a little haphazard and hard to follow. So, and that tends to happen when you have a lot of things in your head, and you had to filter it all down to fit into a short, and some important pieces of context got missed. So let's flesh it out. I'd like to hear. Hear the big story and tell us if there's pieces of this of the context here that we're missing because they're not here. Parts of the story that we're not catching on to. I'd love to hear you fill in those gaps. Yeah, indeed. Uh, please send us another film if you have others because we'd love to see some more uh, from you, Sean. I know Tim. You've already <laughs> sent us Tim's all the films. Done his, that... He's done his due diligence. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Sean. Uh, if you're if you're new to our program, you know we spend a lot more time talking about imperfections than we do about perfections yeah uh, and it is obvious you have some serious chops you oh yeah got, you yeah no skill, doubt and i would love to see more work from you yeah absolutely hey i wanted to point out is this there is there's a letterbox here but not here oh, oh boy how come this keeps happening why does that happen so often that's so weird like it's just it's a recurring thing we see in shorts now there's a couple of very popular pieces of media who use that on purpose, thematically, Westworld being one of them. Or uh, Interstellar <laughs> not being one of them. Yeah, just, just for necessity. <laughs> just for necessity. Um, but I don't feel like people are doing it on purpose. There's, no. There are mistakes being made. We've seen so many movies that where the aspect ratio changes, changes throughout yeah. and all over. <laughs> we, we had one where it, there were three different aspect ratios. Yeah. We had one where the, the letterbox became uh, transparent. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, I don't know if that's our monitor or not. This one certainly does indeed change. But there was actually a part here, and I don't think it's going to show up on this monitor, where the, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, but in the, on our, on our other place that we watch movies, <laughs> the monitor, uh, turned purple the, the tur it turned the letterbox purple oh, I didn't like a that. single a single cut yeah it was weird that's odd anyway um thanks so more movies yeah uh, and please let us know what else you're working on yeah absolutely i guess that's it guys yep so uh don't be a jerk uh, what are you what are you doing did there? you get up on the wrong side of the bed today yeah I uh, did. I usually get up on the left side, but I got up on the right side today you're lucky and it have messed a bed. me up. I was going to say, you have a bed? I have a pile of straw I sleep on. And it, I wake up with really? You get straw? Every day. Dude, I got a bed. Where do you guys get beds and straws? I sleep on the ground. Payman gave me my bed. Ground? You're lucky to have a piece of ground. I had to sleep on a <laughs> hole. A hole in the ground filled with hot gravel. You were lucky? <laughs> yep. Oh, hot gravel. I would have killed to have hot gravel. Yeah? yeah I, I, I had to sleep in a bed of knives. Oh, paradise so? <laughs> paradise i have to sleep in lava. lava 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 well at least you got lava to keep you warm now don't you <laughs> okay. i don't even get the privilege of sleeping because every night payment comes and cuts me in half with a butcher knife <laughs> <laughs> 
now we're just ripping off good references Monty python do, do you just leave like <laughs> every time <laughs> every time like that's really rude dude you're just gonna walk around in other cameras we did that last time <laughs> yeah this is derivative <laughs>